Okay, in this part of the uh, assignment related to Google Docs, um, the idea here is to, to create a fill-in form so that you can get interaction with your visitors and get feedback, uh, much as I've been doing with you with regard to collecting you know, your um, uh, entry-level knowledge and skills related to digital media, um, your interests related to some of the uh, readings and uh, movies we've been looking at and that kind of thing. Uh, it's quite easy to do this um, uh, from your own online or floating desktop. So um, this is how, how that's done. You basically go to Google Docs and uh, once again we're looking here at my list of five um, uh, top five related tasks. And, and so what, what I'm going to do here is create a form that will ask visitors to uh, select which of my five uh, possible topics they think is the most compelling. So that's that's part of the assignment that you'll be doing is uh, creating such a form yourself and then um, hopefully we'll have time to ask a few peers to um, fill out our forms and see how that goes, see what kind of feedback you get. So to create a form you go to the file menu uh, in Google Docs and you, and you select new and in this case, to make a form, you you have to create a spreadsheet first. Sorry, that I kind of lost the line there of the mouse. And then if you if you select a spreadsheet, what happens is you create the spreadsheet, and the form just gathers the data and feeds into the spreadsheet where it's saved. So basically, you create the spreadsheet first. So I'll go ahead and create that, and then I'm going to go ahead and rename this right away. I'm going to call it. Uh, interest survey or something like that. You know, again, I'm just doing samples here. Um, so now it's titled. And um, and in order to create a form, you'll notice that there's a, a word menu right here uh, within the spreadsheet for form. So if you click on form, the option there is to create a form. So I'll click that. And then it's basically a wizard. You just kind of fill this out. So I'm going to leave that title for now. And if you want to, you can click in this box here, the second one down, and put um, uh, any instructions you might have. So, you know, whatever. Um, please select the interest you think is most inter interesting. Okay, something like that. And then name is actually the first field in the form. Right, so um, you notice you have these buttons on the right to edit the field, or to uh, duplicate it, or to get rid of it. In this case, I want to edit this field, and I want to select this box that says "Make this a required question," so that basically, it, um, if it's important that a person's name be associated with their responses, um, it's a good uh, good thing to make this a required field. And then click done. Puts a little asterisk there. I don't know if you can see that. A little asterisk to indicate that it's done. And then you can look at the next um, question. So um, it's an untitled question, and it fills in automatically. So what you do is you you click on the edit button of this first question, and you um, uh, fill in some some little bits of information. Uh, pick the best interest. We'll call the question that. Um, if you want to, you can put some help tasks in there. Uh, just pick one, and um, and these are by no means things things that you would put in your form. Just just um, you know do do as you think makes sense. Um, and then the question type will make this a multiple choice. So what we're going to do here is create a single question, really. That so this is almost like a poll, really. Your your um, a single question with with I'm going to create options to select each, each of my five um, possible topics and, um, and, and then I'll be able to tally those up. So I'm going to make it a multiple choice question. Option one, I'm going, going to um, go back to my um, uh, Google Docs here and find my, uh, my interests, right? My DMA interests. Um, and I'm going to copy the first one, like so, and copy it. And then I'll go back to my uh, form. Oops, sorry about that. 
back to my form here and park that one right um, there. So I paste that that oops that wasn't the right uh, the right paste so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Go back again. I don't know why I didn't get that. Did not allow it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm not sure why that didn't allow that. Um, copy? No, not let not do that. Let's see. Please use control C to copy. Okay, I'll try that. Control C and then I'll go back to my form um, and again try again here paste that um, and there we go so that's my first um, uh, choice so basically I would be just typing copying and pasting um, option 2 option 3 option 4 option 5 just listing my my five topics and then when I'm done I would click done and then I have the the form created so then I can go and um, put a link to this form or whatever so what I can do now is go to um, let's see if it's in more actions nah you can't embed it there but uh, let me go back to the spreadsheet um, interest survey I think this is the right one and if I go into form nah, that's not right um, there we go nope that's not right either see if I can find it. Interest survey, this is the right one. Uh, uh, let's see if I edit that form. Yeah, that's the right one. So there's the form. Um, now let me go back to where I was, um, back to the spreadsheet that I created initially. Then I can um, go to the form and, and click on go to live form and um, that's what it looks like then um, to a viewer. Right, so the viewer would fill in their name, and then they could select this first one, first topic, or you know I didn't list all these obviously, but but um, they would see all of them listed there. They'd click it and submit, and when they submitted, it, it would have their answer as well as their name, and that that would show up in the spreadsheet. Okay, so then all those um, all those um, bits of data would be would be gathered that way, and and then to put this. Um, the full circle then you would put this in for example a Google Sites page or point someone directly at this URL but that's the key thing it's here you now have a web address um, for the survey um, and you can either put that link in a web page or again just sort of email that link to people to go and fill out the survey so that's pretty much um, uh, the the quick overview of how to uh, create a fill-in form to get to get interactivity on a website uh, quite easily and um, using uh, Google Docs and uh, basically creating the spreadsheet first again and then going to the form menu and creating a form to feed data to the spreadsheet.